We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. <laughs> I forgot to do an intro for this and the last video. Sorry about that. Um, welcome back, guys. This is gonna be part eleven of Ragnarok. Battle cry. Um, I think he's busy. I'm just gonna continue this part without him. Uh, it's main. It's mainly gonna be a no commentary. Um, like video. So I hope you enjoy. You learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plans are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. <laughs> should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Well done. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful oh. manifestations of runic magic. Oh. Think of this place. 
place as home again. After all that's happened. We don't have the equipment for this. and Hardy are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. Can break through their shields. They're defenseless now. Use a shield strike. Yeah. 
so much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. Ah! <sighs> 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 
All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. But I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. <clears throat> What's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. <laughs> Turn to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility, one you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. ...and who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you... ...to come and find me. That no matter how hurt... ...or angry... ...you wouldn't... ...abandon me... ...when I needed you the most. Freya, please... I
thought you were dead. Yeah. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have you any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I you really. But I won't. Bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, even you ain't staying here. Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well done. Care to meet our new allies, or shall we depart? You suppose that big Miller who traveling with might want to help me with a thing? Mayhaps. Now and again, he's in the mood to make useful. What'll it be? Need something special?
Lady Freya? No refunds. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Yet I hope this alliance has some staying power after all. It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. Suna. The elves in Fair's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alpine. Get on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Like sound stories yeah. to me. I'm sure we'll do that. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log and... Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Sucker, he owes me one! Thank thee now and eternally! Well, looky there! Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness! I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow, but then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm -hmm. Address. Well, come on then! Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company! 
Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sentry's so-called study over yonder? You sure he won't mind? Mind? You mean Joints get classier by the day. I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frank. Don't call me that. I haven't been that person in a long time. But I'm happy to see you, too. I'd feared the worst for so long, what you must have been through. Nothing so bad as what you've suffered. Freya, I am so, so sorry to hear what happened to Baldur. He was only a boy when I saw him last, but I know he meant more to you than anything. Yes. And to forbear your vengeance in this way, it's, it's truly an inspiration for those of us who believe in peace. The only peace these realms will ever know is once Odin is gone. Believe in that. So you're not here to prevent Ragnarok. You're here to bring it about. I'm here to make sure Odin doesn't hurt anyone. The way he hurt us. I can see I've upset you. <sighs> Forgive me. I am far removed from my days of diplomacy. You better screw his head back on, and I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth! The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind! He doesn't have any faith in me! It's fine if he keeps secrets, it's fine if Mom did! It is not fine! Her secrets haunt every step of this path! Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother! What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me. At Freya, at Tia, Odin did this to us. What's got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you are going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Say, let go. What the fuck? Atreus. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control.
Freezing cold. Lots of Hellwalkers. Definitely in Midgard. Keep it coming. You're just helping me stay warm. <laughs> Something out here doesn't want to kill me. I just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. The Alpha! What is this thing? Some kind of white? <laughs> what is it you want? The Alpha! Trying to tell me something? <gasps> First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, line. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk!
shelter, and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where Father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Take control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Oh, no. Charlie? No. Charlie. Please. Please. Charlie. to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't help if you don't... Emily! Emily! Buddy, I know. It's cold in here. <sighs> I should close that window before snooping around. Freya hasn't been checking on you? All right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. It's okay, buddy. I think he's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Me too.
Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bird. Is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! Oh! You don't seem friendly. Sign of Fimble Winter. I better keep heading towards the wall. You could have led me around those. the craziest thing I've ever done. But if that's what it takes to change father's fate. Hey, Bird, where'd you go? What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi, I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I like, serve you now. Not in a foretold by prophecy kind of way. Side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? All right. I never came up the with end of this video. Um, Stone Mason's son built a flaunt. Thank you guys for watching. I'll you only told Frey about it, part. and I didn't think to ask.